I am Dr. Kavita Rati Dharwadkar, Professor Head, Director, Clinical Biochemistry at Sri Aurobindo Medical College, Indore. Greetings to all as we celebrate IFCC's Global Medical Lab Week 2024 with the theme Lab Saves Lives. Truly appropriate statement. Our institute, Sri Aurobindo Medical College, is one of the largest private medical colleges and 1400 bedded hospital. It is both NABL and NABH 5th edition accredited. We cater to nearly 1000 patients every day spanning from simple tests to more advanced specialized investigations. Our institute under able guidance of our founder chairman Dr. Vinod Bhandari sir has started many innovative initiatives. Sir himself is a renowned surgeon. The initiatives like Comal Sparsh, the tender touch pilot project for newborn screening, breast cancer screening fully equipped mobile buses which reached at the doorsteps, the dental cancer screening buses, the preventive cardiac care center. All these initiatives have been started very actively. Our institute also supports research in many medical areas. One worth mentioning is the integrative medicine wherein allopathy collaborates with Ayurveda, Yunani and yoga to provide holistic treatment to the patients. And all these initiatives require a backbone support by the laboratory services and its team. And definitely lab has played a pivotal role in saving many lives and for the betterment of the patient. Today, as I walk you through to emphasize the importance of how lab saves the lives, I will explain using the newborn screening project or the program that we are running. India is heavily populated with around 144 crore population and out of this 25% is in the age group of 0 to 14 years. Newborn screening though is the need of the hour is not universally implemented across the country but there is lot of importance to it as screens the preventable and treatable conditions which the screening program is done for three important diseases that is congenital adrenal hyperplasia, congenital hypothyroidism and G6PD. So I believe the success of the newborn screening lies as I want to quote it as a five pillar concept. The first pillar is definitely the training of nurses or the phlebotomists on proper collection as well as awareness campaigns for both clinicians as well as to the general population. The second pillar is the pre-analytical zone. Herein, a properly collected heel prick sample on the Guthri card as dried blood sample at the appropriate time, that is 48 hours to 72 hours after the birth, extendable up to 7 days, and properly drying and storing as well as transporting it in appropriate condition is very important. A pre collection counseling with consent form is also taken during this prenatal zone. After all the prerequisites for a proper newborn screening is done and it undergoes rigorous quality check, now we move on to the third pillar that is the analytical zone. In this area, we run only those appropriate samples who fulfill the criteria using fluoroenzyme immunoassay technique and Calibration and quality control are run with every batch of the samples. Only those samples which qualify the calibration graph as well as proper quality control are approved to go to the next level that is the fourth pillar that is post analytical. In the post analytical zone, the efficient lab consultants will look for the appropriateness of the graph as well as the quality control checks and all the normal reports are approved. Any report which comes as screen positive, the samples are rerun and if this still stays screen positive, then the clinicians are informed for recall of the patient for further confirmatory tests and the follow-up. From here, the fifth pillar and the most important role of clinician starts. As a clinician, I would like to emphasize that uh, it was difficult for us in the pre-screening era uh, to give an intact survival for disorders, disorders like congenital adrenal hyperplasia, where the children would actually die without treatment. So the prevalence of all these disorders have actually changed as we are picking up cases at the right time. This was a boy uh, where a newborn screening, this was a normal baby boy delivered with a normal birth fit. The screening showed high 17 hydroxyprogesterone. We did confirmatory investigations at the right time and the baby was started on effective treatment at the right time. So uh, we prevented actually 
a dreaded complication of CAH that is salt wasting crisis. In India, where CAH is still considered a taboo, especially in girls who are virilized and they don't thrive with the, uh, beyond neonatal period. I would again emphasize that biochemical newborn screening assay has been a cornerstone for the early diagnosis and effective treatment in all these treatable conditions. So I definitely retreat that lab saves lives.